So, hello everyone, and thank you for joining this session. As developers, we are constantly trying to find new ways to be more efficient when improving existing design or when trying to create new ones. And at the end of the day, what we all want is to save time and bring product to market faster. My name is Anise Jaimo. I am product marketing manager at ST Microelectronics. Today, I will show you ways to break down wireless design barriers. And I will take you on a journey around the world to discover how our customers save time and resources thanks to ST LoRaWAN solution and ecosystem. I will also introduce you a brand new product here for the first time at the Things Conference. Hopefully, sharing these customer stories will help you better understand and visualize all the wireless possibilities and how they can be applied in your own situation. So let's start. So at ST, we have shaped our wireless offer based on four key features, long range, power consumption, security, and certification. So why is that? Simply because these four features will determine the quality, cost, and the time to bring a product to the market. Long range, to communicate over long distances, reduce the overall numbers of gateways and the overall cost. Then, power consumption. The longer battery life means less maintenance. And this is particularly useful for applications that are difficult to access, like water metering or remote sensors. Thirdly, security. Security is crucial for applications handling sensitive data like medical devices or devices dealing with financial transactions. And then certification. Certification ensures device to be safe, reliable, and interoperable. And in ST, we certify our product to help our customer to save time to market. So, pack your cases, join me for the next 15 minutes to travel around the world and discover three IoT use cases. This journey will leave you inspired and ready for your next design. Let's go. Welcome to our first stop on our IoT journey, Asia. We are seeing incredible growth in the deployment of IoT sensors here. We've already millions of, sen of sensors deployed in the first six months of 2023, and with a, a large and diverse population, Asia represents a unique set of opportunities and challenges for IoT. We are seeing opportunities in the field of environmental mon monitoring, energy management, and street lighting. So let's take street lighting as an example and see how ST and LoRaWAN can help to deploy this device quickly and how it can make our city smarter, more efficient, and more sustainable. For street lighting, let's go to Jakarta, Indonesia. And let's explore this city, one of the largest cities of Southeast Asia. With more than 10 million people, IoT is playing a key role in making the city smarter, more efficient, and more sustainable. So let's walk on the street of Jakarta and get closer to the street lights. If we look closer to the light and we look on the top of the light, we will see a device called NIMA LoRaWAN Street Lighting Controller. This is a device made by our partner and distributor in Asia, Avnet. And this is actually NEMA Street Light is a standardized form factor for street light. And this allows um, easy replacement in existing infrastructure, high reliability, and zero maintenance, making it an ideal solution for smart cities like Jakarta, because it allows to remotely monitor and control the light, saving the power, and also saving the maintenance cost. So what I want to show you now is more detail to see what are the devices used inside this street light controller. If we open up the box and we look at the PCB designed by Avnet, 
we will see a brand new device from ST, a module, tiny module, 10 by 10 millimeter. This module is available now in alpha sampling and will be in mass production for beginning of 2024. This integrates many RF components, the wall bill of material from the MCU down to the antenna pin. And I want to show you what are the components inside. So let's take our X-ray glasses and let's look through the molding compound of the module to see what is inside. If we look inside, we will see the STM32WL, so integrating dual MCU, multimodulation radio, supporting LoRa modulation, internal flash. This one you know already. But on top of that, we have integrated the integra integrated crystals. So we have the radio and RTC crystal with a 32 megahertz TCXO that allows an accurate and precise clock across the full temperature range. We have an integrated passive device with all the matching network to allow to connect to a 50 ohm antenna. We have the antennas filters as well. An internal RXTX switch to be able to connect the, the antenna to a single pin. And optionally, we even have a version of the module with an internal ST safe. So a secure element to allow, allow to save securely the LoRaWAN credential inside the module. And all of that has been integrated inside a 10 by 10 millimeter form factor in this module. So high level of integration here. But the integration is not the most important here. The most important for this module is what it allows. And it allows short time to market. Because all the RF complexity, all the antenna matching, the harmonic filters has been already fine-tuned to achieve the best performance of the WL. So then, there is less R&D effort to develop the RF side and more time to develop the application, the IoT application. Also, this is an all-in-one solution. So it means that it can simplify the ordering process, a single device to order a full bill of material, and it can simplify as well the logistic aspect. And last but not least, it's about footprint and small product size at the end. Well, so our next stop on our IoT journey takes us now to Switzerland, where we will explore how our customer Sontex is revolutionizing water metering with their IoT technology. With their solution, Sontex is making it easier and more efficient to monitor water consumption helping to conserve this precious resource. So let's take a closer look, and let's see how they are doing this. Sontex is transforming water metering with their connected meter, Super Aqua. This meter allows accurate and um, recording of the water consumption with the availability and access to data at anywhere and at any time. With advanced security from the end device, up to the data processing. And this meter can be also deployed in many areas, in many places, because it supports dual connectivity. It is LoRaWAN certified. It can be deployed on the LoRaWAN network. But if there is no LoRaWAN coverage. It can be also deployed on a wireless, wireless MBUS network. But the most amazing part for this module is the power consumption. It's battery life. It has 12 years of battery life, 12 years. So I want to show you how the STM32WL can contribute to reach such high battery life. So what I want to show you today, because the WL has a really flexible architecture with a lot of power mode, but today I want to focus on the stop mode. Stop mode is really useful for smart metering application. Why? Because in a smart metering application, what we want is to stay as long as possible in low power state in order to really save the power consumption. And then after, we need to wake up quickly to resume the application as quick as possible, send the data, optionally send it to the cloud, and go back to sleep. So wake up is really, really critical here. And here, the stop mode is really suitable for this kind of use cases, because it is a low power mode, really low power consumption, quick wake up, 
5 microseconds. And as well, it has, and this is really the specificity of the stop mode, it has full retention. Means that the content of the RAM and the full product state is maintained during the stop mode. In such a way that when the application resumes, it can straight ahead directly resume the application, sense the data, and transmit it to the cloud without wasting any microseconds. And this with a low power consumption of one microamp. One microamp. Maybe for some of you, one microamp doesn't tell anything. But just to give you an order of idea, one microamp during 12 years means that you just use 13% of a CR2 battery. 13%. So there are plenty of room for the application to sense data, to transmit it to the cloud. OK, so I'm excited to share with you now our latest use case on our IoT journey that led us to South America, specifically Brazil. Our team had the opportunity to work with one of our customers, Constanta Spacevis, for the cattle monitoring. So their solution, Constanta Spacevis solution, allows to um, monitor the cattle location to check their uh, vital sign and to detect any abnormalities in real time. So let's do, look at this more in detail now. So let's take a closer look to this cattle space vis, Constanta space vis tracking solution. Their final product is an impressive 35 gram. But don't let its small size fool you because this product is packed with features. It utilizes the blockchain to ensure the uniqueness of the data collected by, by each cow. And this is particularly important for insurance, financial, or exportation purposes, because it allows accurate inventory control. This product is equipped with GPS, with STMEMS and uh, sensors, that combined together helps to monitor the animal, the cow location, the animal alimentation habits. And it can also detect if the cow is in a problematic location, like, for example, facing predators, and predict if there is any disease or any uh, vaccination needs. So this product has revolutionized the way farmers in Brazil manage their cattle. And Constanta Spacevis has used the STM32WL in this product to implement their own protocol. So I want to show you more about the versatility and the flexibility of this brand new WL module. It supports the full high frequency band, means that it can be easily deployed in Asia Pacific, in Europe, or here in Brazil, in South America, for example. It is a multi-modulation device. Multi-modulation on the LP1 market is really important because for such fragmented market, it's important to have one device that is able to cover many protocols. And here, the WL can, can cover LoRaWAN protocol, Sigfox, wireless bus, MyOT, making the WL the convergence product of the LP1 market. Then it provides adjustable output power giving the flexibility to choose on the fly between a low power output, so to address battery operated devices, or high power output to address long range requirements in Americas, for example. Well, versatility is not all on this module. It's also about robustness. And here, the module is robust by its design itself, because it is a molded module. So molded module has several benefits. It provides physical protection, protection against dust, against humidity or moisture, EMC, EMC protection as well. It can support up to 85 degrees Celsius, so it's really suitable for industrial applications like factory automation or energy management systems. Well, Another way, and a really important way, to gain time to market 
is the ecosystem, the product ecosystem. And here, the STM32WL module has been fully integrated inside our development environment, CubeMX, allowing for the developers to quickly wire and debug their application. So they spend less time on the setup, and they can use more time for the application development. The module is fully certified, so then it can ensure to meet the full wireless standard requirements. With, it is LoRaWAN certified, Sigfox verified, following CE, FCC, IC regulations. It comes also with an evaluation board to create quick, quick prototype, to create some, to evaluate the product together with sensors, MEMS. So really interesting board to create examples of uh, WL module. Well, now as our IoT journey around the world comes to an end, we are back here in Amsterdam. But don't worry, because the story is not yet finished. You will have plenty of chance to see the module here at the Things Conference. You will see the module on the Wall of Fame. You will see also the module um, uh, during our workshop tomorrow. And you will have the chance to see the module on Arrow booth. On our distributor Arrow, they are showing uh, a street lighting demonstration, so showing lighting control with Low, uh, with the evaluation board STM32WL5M. And this is showcasing a dual way communication on the LoRaWAN network. So I invite you to come to their booth and to meet with their engineering solution center. Also, you can come to ST booth. We have our experts are present here today to answer your question. We have a free demonstration. We have our reference designs. So this showcasing the, it's provide actually an entry point for developers to get access to hardware, to schematics, layout, and bill of material. So really quickly to start a hardware. We have a demonstration showcasing also a LoRaWAN provisioning over NFC. So to simplify the provisioning process of a LoRaWAN device. And last but not least, it's about our brand new module, a live demo of this module. Okay, thank you everyone for listening and for joining me on this IoT journey.